For very long, I would tell you, oh, I'm not really a teacher. <laughs> and, and then I finally came to accept that I am. It's just, it's a funny thing teaching at the college level because nobody really teaches you to be a teacher. I just share what I know, right? So I just share examples from my office. I share tools that we use in our office. Um, but I'm constantly learning things from others, including the students that sometimes I bring back into this office, you know, and we'll share with people here or processes that I'm doing at school, I'll do here in the office. And I try to tell these young students, it's about being who you are. I think what drives me, what always has driven me is the desire to use my skills to make a difference. We are at March Studio in Santa Monica. We create branded architecture with purpose. So my role as a brand strategist is in the upfront part of any architecture project, and I don't do it alone. We collaborate with marketing and branding and architecture, and we translate our clients' brands into the built environment. We did the work for Vice Media in Venice, um, and Vice was coming from Brooklyn, and they wanted to establish themselves in the entertainment industry and in Hollywood and Los Angeles. So we had meetings in the beginning to figure out who is Vice. Of course, we all have our impressions of Vice, but really to understand the DNA of that brand, and then how can we create an office that reflects that, and also how it can support the way they work. Our first project was for a design agency. That was very brand centric, that was easy. But our second project was for The Growing Place. And that's a little preschool here in Ocean Park in Santa Monica. What I realized was all these commercial strategies we have and we used for like HBO Films or Vice Media were applicable to these nonprofits as well. So I think for us, in a way, it was kind of an aha. They weren't as savvy about the way they talked about themselves. They didn't think about themselves as a brand, but the strategies were the same. And they still had competition. Are you gonna take Johnny to the growing place or to the little fairies or whatever, you know? Every brand, every organization has a social impact. And in my classwork in Brand Matters, we talk about how can you amplify the social impact of that brand. It's whether or not it's positive or negative, and I think that we can help them to, to move that dial a little bit more towards the positive. You know, honestly, Art Center for me, it's like I'm going to school. I feel like I've been so fed by Art Center. I'm respected, I am given the opportunity to collaborate with people that are super skilled at what they do. You know, so that's kind of how the teaching came. It was just one class and then it grew. I lost my mom when I was about 29, and uh, that was very hard. She was my best friend. And um, so I think that kind of drove me to church. I shared recently with my students that I was going to Haiti with my church, mostly just to let them know that I would be away and I wouldn't be in class. They asked me, who are you going with? And I was like, oh, I'm going with the group from church. Didn't think too much about it until this young, beautiful student said to me, how can I use my skills to give back to God's world? And I was pretty floored. The fact that she opened up to me in that way and she was so earnest, you know, and seeking meaning. They say that's what brands do too, they seek meaning and, and people join them because they want a sense of belonging. I have found that in different places. When I came back from Haiti this time, I was asked to do a design storm. And it was literally, I got back Sunday night and it started Tuesday. We're working with the city of Long Beach. The beauty of it was the project that we had, again, another awesome brief, in my opinion. It was to um, reverse the trends of higher than average STD and HIV rates in Long Beach. And this is truly multidisciplinary when you bring in doctors, when you bring in scientists, you know, researchers, people from different backgrounds. And that richness is what happened here, I think, over the three days. I think I'm good at seeing connections. Design matters, I, you know, I, I, I love the premise that we can, as designers and artists, you know, take on these big problems. And some of the briefs that we have are enormous and, you know, probably not what people think they go to art school for. One of the most recent ones I did was for um, the Girl Effect with the Nike Foundation. And our brief was to help the quarter billion adolescent girls living in poverty around the globe. Wow, you know, that's, that's a pretty meaty thing for a bunch of 20 year olds and a 50 year old. We were able to design things and solutions that would help someone else. 
you know, to have a different experience. Making an impact in your own community is always good. Whether they're a school or they're a store or, you know, an office, it's using your skills to try to help others, uh, you know, fulfill their purpose. And what I realized about that is by doing that, at the end of the day, I'm fulfilling my purpose too.